I'm just going to show you how I um, do my, or how I hide my screw heads. Because um, they're not that pretty, are they, you know? Yeah, they're not that great. So, you've got your screw heads, and you don't really want to be seeing them, even if you can't sink them, with your can't sink bit, such as that one there. Um, you don't necessarily want to be able to see your screw head. I make plugs up using plug cutters. Basically, I make these little wooden discs, like so. The size I use, 10 mil. So I make 10 mil plugs. Now, but you can get plug cutters in all different sizes. You know, I've got some really big ones as well, but these are yeah, average size ones, a 16 mil there, an 18 mil, and there we got an 8 mil. So you get them in all various shapes and sizes. But the, the only thing is, you have to make sure that the hole that you'll be producing for the plug to go into is neat. So I use these things quite often, and these are 10 mil. So that distance here is compatible with this size 10 mil plug, wooden plug. Now the wooden plugs are great little things. So yeah, they, they really yeah. If you get the grain in the right way, what have you? They're brilliant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show, first show you how I cut my plugs from a scrap of wood. If you've got a piece of wood from the work that you're working from, if you're doing a door lining, for instance, there's no reason why you can't cut your plugs in the back of your door lining for the job. So you're using the same timber. So it should be relatively close to colour and what have you. And you're not gonna see it because it's gonna be hidden because that'll be going up against the stud work or your wall. So as long as you don't take too many out of there, so there's no strength left in it. Okay, so let's do that. Right, to use the old plug cutter, ideally you need to use a pillar drill. And there's good reason for that. There's, there's no centre drill on a plug cutter. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a go at cutting some plugs. Oh, I think I'm, I'm so clever, I'm going to have a go. See what happens. Is that possible? Oh. Well, how do you do it? I don't know. Um, yeah. Oh, no, I'm getting one. See, so it is, it is possible, but you see how hard it is to... Yeah, not great. And these ones are even worse for that. Yeah, not great. So what you need is the pillar drill. Right, so you've got your scrap of wood, your off cut or whatever. Yeah, you've got your pillar drill. I do think you use, or you can use drill in a drill press. And then you just cut your plugs. There you go, you've got a series of plugs. See how quick that was? It wasn't a difficult job, was it? So, uh, what will we do with those? Right, so here we have, we have our plugs that were cut out using the pillar drill and a plug cutter bit, like so. And uh, all we have to do is, we want to use them, you can leave them in the bucket of wood if you like, for storage, you don't lose them. Um, they're obviously quite easy things, they're rolling around the floor. You just pop out of a screwdriver like that. Yeah, and if they're too long that way, um, what you can do is you just cut them in half, or, or use a chisel and just chop them in half with a chisel. So, yeah, very easy, so just pop them out. Right, so they will fit into the hole that this bit will produce. So I've, I've drilled my pilot hole and uh, my clearance hole and also my plug hole all at the same time. You'd obviously have your screw in there. And what you do is grab your hammer and you literally just, you've got your little blob of glue, you get your grain in line to, in the same direction as the wood ideally. So you grab your plug, you put it in its hole in line with the grain, with a little tiny bit of glue, and then you tap that, there you go. And that, that is your plug. And now it's covering up your screw head, right? You'll barely, once that's sanded off, you'll barely see it. And you just cut it off with your handsaw, 
In this case I'm using the 15 TPI panel saw, short toolbox size. Um, and let's put this out of the way. <laughs> now when you cut this off, be careful. If you cut with the grain, what ends up happening is you could it could break off at the last moment, it will break off at the last moment, but maybe not where you want it to. So you have to um, do it against the grain, so that way, you just gently cut it. Obviously it's to be fixed. There you go. And go to the sander. And you might not be able to see it too well, but what I'll do is I'll put an arrow pointing to where it is. <laughs> it is. That is disguising the screw. So it's definitely worth doing, and it's so easy. So get yourself a set of plug cutters, and um, these countersink drill bits with the clearance. Um, this is a 10mm one, you can get them obviously in various sizes, um, but you there are other ways of doing this. It isn't as good. If you haven't got the right size cutters for the countersink hole, you can use a 10 mil drill bit. I don't recommend it. It don't work nowhere near as well. But if I just drill that in here. Don't drill too badly. And you can grab yourself one of these plugs. Let's grab one the right colour. Here. And then you can tap that into all this. A lot looser than the other one. The reason for that is the bit wobbles. So you might prefer it, you might not. That's a real, the, the first one is very, very neat. But the second one isn't quite so good around the edges. You can probably see this. You might be able to see There's a gap around it. And it's uh, not such a snug fit. The reason for that is, as you're trying to drill, that first bit it wobbles, it wobbles a bit. Yeah, unless you're doing it in a pillar drill, but obviously you're not gonna do that. Anyway, give us a thumbs up, will you? And uh, subscribe and that, you know, and uh, check out some of our other videos, will you? Anyway, thank you for watching.